Hello and welcome to your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight with me, Derek Tebbers, here at Westbridge Hills Farms. And we have stuff and things today, so let's go for it. We've got a lot of tippers. So, let's start there. We're going to jump farms again, just forewarning you now. We have the Furman 48HA. It is a 48 cubic meter chaff trailer, so we're going to be playing with that. Uh, accepts chaff, and it also accepts apparently a whole bunch of other stuff so we're going to just kind of drive around and collect stuff but it apparently holds just about everything you can imagine 48 4 for that so let's buy that guy uh we're going to skip a whole bunch of stuff i just rolled right past because you'll see it later we have a road train vorne and a hinton which i honestly don't know that wait i just saw the difference ah that one has the little tipper thing in the back haha -ha, i found it 35504 doesn't tell us what the capacity is. That's always a pain in the butt, but there we go. Er, we got some road training stuff we can do, and we can probably actually buy two of these because I bet you we could stick them together and make a longer road train. Okay, so then we're going to run all the way to Miscellaneous. Why? Because I know it's here. Just got to go find it. There we go. Peterbilt, $379, $75 a day. We got a big chrome monster, $225,000, so we'll buy it. Kill. Kill. All right. <clears throat> Here's our big trailer. Um, that is quite the trailer. I like how it has... Uh, that, that, there's some detail right there. Um, the, see how the... It's like it's got a central pressure system on it. That looks pretty cool. I wish the chocks were out and underneath there. That would make it even cooler. Um, yeah. We can clip through the... Oh, okay. I'm clipping through the tire, and that's putting me through the bed. All right. Looks like we are going to discharge out at the back. Yep. Okay, so now we have these trailers. I bet you I'll clip right through the back here. Whoop. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I do know why that is to some degree. It has been explained to me. I've forgotten the reasoning now, but it was explained to me promise. All right. Here is our... Yep. I'll just clip right through all of that. Yep. Ooh, oh, I clipped through a lot more than I thought. Oh, goodness. <laughs> all right. Let's look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is quite a skinned truck. That is a big rig. All right. Let's jump inside. Let's see, is there anything on the help? There are. Let's, um, let's get inside. Ooh, quite the interior. Nope, that's course play. What was that? All right, let's, uh, let's pull it out of the trailer so that we can get a better look at it. Okay, let's hit some buttons here. One, yep, we got blinkers. There's our high beams. There's our work light front. LEDs. Oh, look at that. Turns on all the LEDs. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, zero is our rear light, which is coming from where? Where is it coming from? Hmm. Um, strobe flashers. Home. We got all those strobes. Oh, look at that. Good googly moogly. All right. Cool. Let's pull this guy around. Let's grab a trailer. Actually, let's go for a speed run. Before we do that. Oops. Oh boy. All right. Go, go, gadget truck. 45 miles per hour. Cool. And if I turn, it's going to have a problem with the hill. Ooh. Yep. A little bit. I just feel it's a little bit low, but that's just me. Um, <clears throat> feels like those steps are a little bit low. Uh, you'd scrape them going over speed bumps and stuff. But that might just be me. All right. Let's pull in here. Look up to our trailer. Oopsie. All right. Let's go. Come on. The camera's also not in the most optimal position, I don't think. I feel like I'm swinging around a point. See where I'm, I'm swinging now off the nose there. If I remember correctly, you usually don't swing off the nose. No, you swing off the center of the truck. So 
this one is swinging me off the nose. That's kind of it's kind of making it more difficult. All right, so now I can use M to Lecca Sparen. Oh, that changes. Notice the wheel, the rear wheels. Yeah, that's cool. And then five. Oh, look at that. It's cool. All right, so I can turn that so that the the trailer tires don't turn, or so the trailer tires do turn. Whatever you prefer, I guess. Okay. Um. All right, let's find out what the capacity is. Let's dump it. At the same time, I will reset those other trailers. And we're going to find out if it road trains. Right, let's do that. Cruising along, it seems pretty stable like this. So far. All right, here we come into the farm, highballing it in, and let's see what we can do. Barley. And we are looking at about 80, I think, a shave under. Oh, 80 on the nose. Look at that. That is, uh, yeah, it's a good bit of uh, good bit of grain. Let's get that off the screen. Thank you. All right, so now comes the fun part. I need to try to get this sucker to road train. That's not really going to do it, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. That wasn't a good thing at all. That upset a whole bunch of fish. Okay. That's interesting. All right. It's really difficult the way these things reset. Yeah. Just keep going back, truck. Just ignore that completely. Thank you. Thanks for... There we go. Got you road trained. Now you're going to fill with wheat. Well, screw you. Get off me. All right. Let's dump this sucker out. I have a problem with the engine noise right now, but um, hold on. Stop. Yeah, there we go. If you remember back in season whatever it was, season three, we had the road train where it tipped back, and I was like, that's not right. This is what I would expect. Go through the the bottom when you have the back on there. That is good. Yeah. All right, drop that weed off. Now let's make an absolute fool out of ourselves and try to hook up this last trailer on here. Okay, anyway, uh, now that we've completely knackered that, cool. All right, try, time to test out the Furman. We're going to do that with our forage harvester here. We're going to hook it up to the Furman. There we go. Everybody's hooked up. Everybody's happy-ish, mostly. All right, let's go chaff some chaff. Actually, this is a, not a chaffer, so we're not going to chaff some chaff. All right, so here we are, and we're going to go ahead and turn on this as soon as we hook up the PTO. All right, and... Lower. Uh, lower pickup. V. There we go. Just a matter of remembering all the buttons. All right. Look at that. Looks nice. 
loading that up like that. Cool. And were we getting a capacity on this? I don't remember. Tippers. Uh, 48 cubic meters. So if you don't know what that is, um, yeah, I don't either, honestly. All right, so now let's turn that off. Now we're going to see how it how it empties. So we select that, stop. I don't care. Q. Okay, so it's side tips. Uh, I guess it depends. It might side tip or it might rear tip. Okay, cool. So there we go. There's the the Furman. It would definitely be good for um, tractors that need to to not have a load, heavy load on their back axle, since it has its own dolly on it. Though that will mean it can be a pain in the butt to back up. The road train. It's cool. Um, I can't back it up, but I could make a road train out of it. It does dump properly, which is excellent. Even if this one dip, tips backwards, I'm cool with that because that's fine. Um, and I like the, uh, the fact that these ones dump down below. The truck. The truck is one glitzed out glamour truck. Um, it kind of goes in the same category as Looney's truck over there, where it's just a bit much for a farm. But I guess if you're road training, you'd want something big like this. If you're looking for a big Australian Peterbilt and a road train, there you go. And then that trailer. All right, let me switch maps, and we will cover off the other mods we have. Welcome back. Uh, I bet you'd never expected to see this farm again. Yeah, I still got it. All right, so what do we got here? Well, we got mods for animals, which is important, and this farm has animals. So, all right, let's, uh, let's jump in. It is in tippers. There are two things. There's a pack of livestock trailers of different colors. So you can have different colors of piggies. So there you go. 55,000 for any one of them. Let's buy one. Uh-oh, it's taking a minute. Oh, there it is. All right, the other one is this livestock trailer, which only carries 85 piggies. So a lot less piggies. Daily cost is higher. Initial cost is higher, but I don't know. Maybe it's a better looking trailer. Let's find out. It's a flying trailer. Ugh. All right. So here is the Oxstar trailer. Uh, I can walk through the bottom, but that's only in there. Uh-oh. That's, that's as far as I can go right there. How about this one? This one I can walk into. Oh, good grief. All right, then we go woo, right through there. All right. So we got 85 pigs and 200 pigs. The 200 pig one makes me question, what the heck? All right, let's check the pig situation. And there's five pigs. It's five pigs. Who cares? Let's load up some pig. Okay, so we're gonna start with this blue trailer here, which goes nicely with our blue day cap. Okay, we're on board. Speed up this reverse, for goodness sakes. Oh, we're about to hit the end of the trailer. There it is. Oh, and we just made that turn. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. Go, the pigs are down this way. the heck was that? Other than me not driving very well. All right. Go, truck, go. Oh, my goodness. Go, truck. Go, truck. There we go. And that goes super speed. Thunk. All right. Piggy pickup is... Piggy pickup, 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 pickup. Piggy pickup is here, I believe. No oh, good grief. 
Hey guys. Yeah, I was right. That's Piggy Pickup. Okay. This could be an issue with this map. Okay. Yeah, this, this could be a small problem. Oh, there we go. There we go. I've successfully failed backing this truck in, and we are now in space. Uh. All right, so now we have the BMAC. We'll try again. Probably should have tried this on a more open area farm, but this is the one that I knew I had pigs. So there you go. There we go, we're hooked up. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we'll we'll try this again. See about my reversing skills, or lack thereof. Okay, we're gonna try things a little bit differently, I think, when I make this approach. He says, and then he lines up to do the exact same gluten thing again. Oh, can I make that turn? Oh, I can just make that turn. Look at me. That tree is making my life really difficult right now. Nope, oh, that's going to go into there. Oh, good grief. Seriously? Oh, I got pig. I got a pig in the trailer. All right. So we've successfully gotten one pig of our five pigs in our trailer. Where is he? Piggy. Here, piggy. Piggy, piggy. Piggy, piggy. Uh, okay. So we should have four pigs left here. Hey, guys. Okay. So there we go. That is, um, that's that trailer. Uh, I think my problem with it is that big tail it's got. Oh, look, there's the pig. Oh, my goodness, he got, became a midget. Oh, it's just a baby pig. Okay. <laughs> Capacity's a little bit off, too. At 200 pigs. Oh, geez. At 200 pigs. That's a lot of pigs in a very confined space, and that's just wrong. All right, so let's go get the other trailer. So you can choose that 200 pig trailer in a variety of colors that match your farm. <laughs> Come on, BMAC. Okay, now this one has clipping issues. Oh, really? You missed, didn't you? By like minuscule millimeters. All right. Now this looks more like the ones I see rolling down the roads around here. And 85 pigs sounds more realistic to me. Let's go try to get a pig on our trailer. See what happens. All right, so we have a small issue with that. Come on, pick up the pig. He's in there. I know he is. Seriously? Come on, guys. Come on, pigs. Get in the trailer. Come on, in the trailer. In the trailer. 
Oh, now I got it stuck. Uh, help. Okay. Woo, there it went. Jeez. All right. Um, so there, yeah, there's that trailer, which... Um, why you no get in? Uh, all right. So the pig loading, I, I know that that is like a terrible pig loading for these kind of trailers. Uh, I will, I will attempt to, uh, pig with something else, but I like the fact that this one is a more manageable number of pigs. Wow. Um, but it has some, it has some graphical issues. The other one, 200 pigs is a lot of pigs in a trailer, um, but it's cheaper and it comes in multiple colors. All right. So th today we did... A lot of trailers. We had the Furman 48HA, 48 cu uh, cubic meters. Uh, just about every fruit you can imagine. Nice pullable unit with inflatable tires. These pigs are annoying me now. Here we go. Uh, nice pullable unit with inflatable tires. We had the livestock trailers from Oxstar. Um, multiple colors, blue, green, orange, red. 200 pigs, uh, 35,000. Yeah, kind of a lot of pigs. We have a livestock trailer V3, 85 pigs, 60,000. That seems more realistic to me, but I could be wrong. We have a road train, two trailers. They are belly dump trailers, which is much better than the road train we had last season. And they came with the Peterbilt 379. All right, this has been Dare Tubbers. I've been here at Red Hill Farms, and I've been over at the Titanium Packs West Bridge Hill Farm. This has been your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight. Until next time, bye.